Okay, now we're going to cover trace tables when we link them with iteration. So, firstly, trace tables are used to find the output of programs, find the changes in the values of specific variables, and find any errors in the program, mainly logic errors. So, here is an example of a for loop. So, 4x in range 1, 6. So the first thing that we need to find is the value of x. So we fill the table with the value of x. So x starts with 1 because we're, the range is 1, 6. Then it says print x times 2. So 1 times 2 will give you 2. Then the loop will go back to the start and it will increment x by 1. So x will be 2. Then 2 times 2 is 4. Then x will increase again to 3 and 3 times 2 is 6, then x will go back to 4 and increase by 1, so it will be 4, and then 4 times 2 is 8, then it will increase one more time to 5, and then 5 times 2 is 10. And this is an, a simple example of a trace table. So you just fill all the values, all the changes in the values of the variables, and the outputs as well. So whenever you have a variable changing, Whenever you have an output, you need to fill it in the table. Here is another example. So we got 4x in range 1, 5. So x will start with 1 in this case. Then it says, if x is less than 3. So is x less than 3? Is that true or false? Yes, that's true because 1 is less than 3. Then it says print less than 3 because it is less than 3. So the output will be less than 3. Then x will increase by 1, so it goes to 2. Is 2 less than 3? Yes, that's true. So it will print less than 3 again. X will go to 3. Is 3 less than 3? That's false because 3 is the same as 3. It's not less than 3. So it will display 3 or above. And then it will go to 4. And then is 4 less than 3? No, that's false. So it will display 3 or above again. Here we have another example. So it says assume the user enters the following values, Sam, Upper, AU, Lower, Zoe, Upper. So we start with the code here, 4x in range 1, 4. So obviously x will start with 1, then it says choice. Choice is equal to input, enter word. Now whenever there is an input, we go back to the question, to the top of the question. It says the first input is Sam, so we need to put Sam for choice. Then the next input, so case equals input, so that's another input, so we go to the top of the question again, upper, because that's where um, the next part of the question. And then now we have choices sum and cases upper. It says if case is equal to upper, print choice.upper. So this will print the choice but in uppercase because the upper function forces the um, variable or the values of the variable in up to uppercase. So this will this the output will be sum all in uppercase. Then we go back to the start, x will increase by 1. So the next value is au, because that's the choice. And then the next case is lower. And the so it will say if case is equal to upper, no, that's false because a case is not upper, it's lower. So we go to the else, it says print choice.lower. So choice.lower will print the value of choice, but in lower case. So au will display it in lower case. Then we go to the back to the start of the loop, so to 3, x will increase um, from 2 to 3, then the next input is Zoe, and case is upper, and then it says if case is equal to upper, yes that's true, so we'll print choice.upper, which is Zoe all in uppercase.